Certainly got to hit the road recruiting, right? We still got to look for guys. We're always recruiting. It never ends. Whether it's for the 2014 class, the 2015 class, the 2016 class, I got like 250 text messages, and half of them are telling me about players, and the other half of them are trying to get a job um, as an assistant coach. It's just part of the deal. Um, and so, and the other half want my job back in Nebraska. Um, but we're going to get out and hit the road recruiting. We have a short amount of time here before the April period is, is over. Certainly been talking to a lot of people, um, have not narrowed it down yet. Um, I'm not going to name any specific names, but we're certainly making progress that way. And I feel very confident that we're going to have an excellent staff in place. Out, what an amazing crowd. I can't wait to get out and meet as many people as I can, certainly in the community of Vermilion, and get out to Sioux Falls, Sioux City, and wherever else we need to go. It's really an exciting time, and, and the University of South Dakota is gaining so much momentum right now moving forward, and I just can't wait to, to get out in front of as many people as we can and get our families um, out and meeting everybody, and maybe we can find a girlfriend for any of my three, my three boys. With that, I'd like to open it up for, for any questions. I think we're trending upward, fastly. And that's my job. I feel like, I mean, I had a heck of a job at Nebraska. I mean, I really, I mean, my, our head coach is my mentor. He's the guy I believe in, um, in everything that we do. He's, uh, Coach Miles is a mentor, he's a friend. I'm the oldest of five. My wife's the second youngest of 10, if you can believe that. Um, and so we balance each other out perfectly. But Coach Miles, is like a big brother to me. And so he's family. My kids are best friends with their kids, right? And we're always together. And so it was a great situation. But if I didn't have with every ounce of fiber in my bone, believe in the University of South Dakota and everything that it entails, I wouldn't be here. But I firmly believe that we are gonna make a major, major splash in Division I basketball and certainly in the Summit League in the very, very near future. I was very fortunate to be able to watch a few games, and obviously you can't, when you're only watching, you know, watch three games. When you watch three games, you can't tell everything, but you can certainly see a lot of things. And there's a lot of talent. I mean, we have some talent here to work with, and so it's just a matter of, of molding these guys and and really having a set of expectations. And I can't wait to get in the gym with them. I love skill development. I love being on the floor. And, you know, going back to what I said earlier, when you're a young coach, all you want to do is just give me to the games. All right, let's go play. And I think you learn what really was pivotal for me was when I became a head coach, I really learned to love practice. I love the process of it. And I'm a huge believer. There's certain points, you know what, you just got to buck up and find a way to win. Right? There's certainly those points and times. But I'm a huge believer in the process. When your process is good and your teams are ready to play and, and you cover all of them, I'm a huge situational guy. I believe in knowing exactly what you're going to run when there's three seconds left and you have a side out of bounds play or an end out out of bounds play or whatever it might be. Um, but I mean, going back, I'm a huge skill development guy. Colton Iverson uh, transferred to us when we were at Colorado State. Uh, our second to last year. So I was able to coach him one year. It was his red shirt year. And Colton and I met right when he got here. And because and, I've heard all these things about Colton and then going through help, you know, with the recruiting process, sat down with him at a Taco Bell. And we, you know, he had like 15 tacos. I had two. Um, um, you know, mine were a little more feeling. I had the bean burritos. Um, but we met and had a great conversation. He said, Colton, what do you want to do? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? He goes, Coach, I want to play in the NBA. And I'm like, yeah, everybody wants to play. He wants to play in the NBA. He wants to play in the NBA. He wants to play. We all want to play in the NBA. So he said, Colton, what do you really want to do? He goes, Coach, I want to play in the NBA. He said, what are you willing to do to do it? And he got quiet, and he kind of put his head down, and he had to think about it. And then he came up with an answer. I'll do whatever I need to do. No, what do you want to do? I'll work out every single day. So we started working out every single day. Well, 
Well, everywhere I've been, we, we, I mean, we expect to get in the NCAA tournament next year. Is that realistic or not? Yeah, I mean, that's what I believe in. When we were at Mayville, and then it's a totally different level, but it took over a program that had won one game the year before we got there. They were one in 27. And our model from day one is we're all in. We're going one win to in. In our first year, we got to the national tournament. Our second year, we went 28 and six, beat the University of North Dakota for the first time in 60 years, uh, since 1945, went 5-1 against D2 schools, and then our last year essentially repeated the same thing and played in the national championship game. And so, you know, it's a funny thing about life. You know, if you, if you, if you have high expectations, very often they're going to get there. And so our expectation every year is to be at the top of the Summit League, to compete for regular season and postseason um, championships, and then get to the NCAA tournament and win when we get there.